I also want you to know, if you are pregnant and choose to keep the baby, I'll quit school, get a job, and provide for you both. Why do people keep asking me that? I'm not a slut. When I'm sad, I make out with nerdy boys. Because they think they're in love with me, which feels amazing, until they get clingy and then similar things. I don't think I'm in love with you. Sure you don't. I was upset because I overplucked my left eyebrow and I just got them symmetrical. You look very even to me. Thank you for checking in. A lot of guys don't. But if I do, he's gonna tell people I'm looking up with Ruby. Ruby! Sorry, what? Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. It's amazing. I'm so proud of you. It feels like you're embarrassing me seeing near me. I'm a very private person. I think you're embarrassed. Okay, fine, I'm embarrassed. I don't want to be seen in public with someone who's mean. We're done. And we're not done. We're over. You and Ruby are a thing. Uh, well, we're not anymore. It was casual. No feelings. No feelings. Apparently, you're secretly sleeping with Otis Milburn. It's true. Now everyone knows anyway. I was thinking we could keep seeing each other. Ugly. Really ugly. The ugliest. I would never date him. Why is everyone staring? Because you're with me, obviously. Ruby's dressed me. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Oh. OT! Bag! Oh. We're going to hang at yours. Well, do you want me to come and help? I just thought you might want some help with your dad. I'm fine. But I would like to get to know you better, if you'd let me. Because I think you're an interesting person. Do you mean you want to be my boyfriend? Yeah. OT! Hmm. Yeah, I see. Well, I was thinking I could meet you at yours at six, walking together. Would you like to see my house? Why, yes, I would. So annoying sometimes, Otis. Oh, that's nice. It's not, but thank you. Well, why didn't you call me? I could have come back. I didn't want to ruin your date. Otis, my dad, Roland, dad, Otis. Hello. Which is why it's nice to see her happy since she's been dating you. <laughs> Always going on about you. Otis this and Otis that. Oh my God, dad, shut up. Hey. Thanks for helping me out. You're the best. I love you. Oh. That's nice. Do you want to smooth them out for me? Not particularly, no. I've got to go home. Ruby, are you sure everything's all right? Why do you keep asking me that? Like you're annoyed with me or something. Ruby said, I love you, and I didn't say that. Oh my God. You have to tell her the what? The truth. The truth. Because the longer you leave it, the more hurt she'll be. Yeah? yeah. Ruby, <gasps> do you want me to carry your bag to a sorry for you? Maybe we can have a little chat. Ruby, please can we talk? Not now, Otis, I've got to go. Otis doesn't love me. I told him that I loved him and he didn't um, say it back. Everyone loves you. I know, that's why I'm so confused. You like me. Yeah. I like you a lot. But you don't love me. I just have to say that in my own time. 
and I don't feel that way right now. I just don't at the moment. Never said that to anyone, Otis. You need to go. Do you mean go just now or go for good? For good? All right. After all, it did break his heart. Oh, that would make a lot more sense, actually. Ruby, can we talk? Don't look at her, don't speak to her, don't breathe. I'm trying to apologise. Stop talking, it's very triggering for Ruby. Stop it. She hates you. Thank you for the support, but I can deal with this by myself. I don't want to hurt you. It'd be worse thinking that you hate me. I don't hate you, Otis. It'd be so much easier if I did. I get it. I'm glad you don't hate me. 